So I just released a video, part two, on wind power on a vehicle. And I was editing it. I was just putting on the finishing touches. And I found that I had this misunderstanding on the generator, thinking that every time it slowed down, that was just when it started generating power. When in reality, it was this over voltage protection of the wind controller that was just shorting the coils and trying to stop the thing to protect batteries, to, to protect everything. And I recorded so much footage, I was madly going back through it and I could see that every time this thing went over 14 volts, it was just, that's, that's when it was happening. And I just, I missed it while I was making the video and it wasn't until I was, I mean, this thing was just about ready to publish when I noticed it. And I went to bed that night. I was just lying there sweating with this feeling of dread, just like, oh, I screwed this up. And, uh, and I was like, why, why am I feeling so bad about this? And I started thinking about it. It's like, well, wait a minute. I, I have total control of this. I haven't even published it yet. Nobody's seen it. I can still make tweaks to it. So what's the big deal? And I started shifting it to a mindset of, no, this was, this was a learning experience, this, which is really what it was, that I've never messed with wind turbines before. This is my first experiment with it. And this is the only way that I really would learn that lesson was to play with it and figure that out. And as soon as I shifted to that, yes, I'm the learner, I'm, I'm doing this, to identify things that I don't know, all of a sudden the dread went away, I stopped sweating, and I, I felt so much better. It's like, well, why, why do things like that bother us so much? And the reality is we are programmed by our early life experiences. And for me, believe it or not, I had a kindergarten teacher when I was five years old that would yell and scream at the kids for making minor mistakes. Seriously, she would tear up your paper in front of you, in front of the whole class for getting one problem off of 100%. And you can imagine what that left me with as far as the kind of programming that I got from that of how okay it was to make a mistake and that it definitely didn't see it as, as a learning experience. But that is what we should be doing. And consequently, I just have to constantly remind myself that I need to be seeking out these mistakes, like digging through the dirt to find the precious ore, because those are the places where I have a misunderstanding of how things are working, and I'm not gonna be able to build stuff or take it to the next level without identifying those things. Those are the places that I need to be seeking out. So we should all be asking lots of questions, doing as much learning as possible, and if anyone is shaming you for your mistakes, Number one, they're being an ass. Two, they probably had someone treat them that way, so they, that's just what they automatically default to. Uh, they're also possibly got some insecurities and they make themselves feel better by pointing out the faults of others while ignoring their own. But the reality is they just haven't had the proper coaching on how to interact with and support others. And for me, honestly, you know, I, I felt so dreadful about it, but I really think it improved the video. Towards the end, I get in there, I found a place to, to shoehorn it in and say, hey, here's a place where I messed up, but it didn't affect the results. It, it really was a minor thing, though it was a big learning for me. So the lesson here is that regardless of circumstances or how many people see it and whether you're getting ridiculed, we can choose to own our mistakes celebrate it as a learning experience and a lesson that we likely never will forget. I'm Quint. Thanks for watching.